Hello, welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this segment, we are going to see how to generate the encrypted passwords from command line using some tools. And here I have used some tools called pwgen, uh, make password and open SSL. Uh, and in this segment I have used some cryptographic concepts such as ENC that stands for encoding with ciphers and AES 256 CBC uh, it's also an encryption cipher and another uh, cryptographic concept called SALT which adds strength to the encryption and one of the important thing to be noted is this 256 CBC encryption cipher is used by the US government to encrypt the information at top secret level so we can see how to install and generate the encrypted passwords in command line so at first I am going to use the pwgen tool so before installing we can check the tool availability in repos so for that I am using the command call mlist pwgen so you can see that the uh, package is available so now you can install and now the pwgen tool is installed and we're gonna see how to generate the encrypted password using this tool if you just type pwgen and hit enter you can get the encrypted passwords so by default it will display the 8 character passwords and 20 uh, that is 8 columns and 20 rows so if you need to generate only the one password with 10 characters you can give pwgen I'm mentioning 10 characters and the instance is 1 so it will generate only the one password with 10 characters whereas if I need to generate uh, 5 characters with 6 password 6 instances so you can see that the password is generated with 5 characters and 6 instances and if I need to generate a password with uh, uh, 40 or 50 characters but without the instances it will allow us to use only the character length so I am giving 55 so there you can see the only one instance password is generated with 55 characters and the next tool is mk password so we can check the tool availability using m command and m list mk password so it says that uh, the package is not available in the repos uh, so this package is not available in the repos so we can check whether it's located in some other package as a dependency so for that I'm using the command is m what provides and the package name so there also it displays that it's not available and it guides us to use the star slash mk password so we can also try this star slash mk password so now it intimate as that the mk password is located in expect package as a dependency and the repo is space so for using mk password we need to install this expect package so m install expect so now the expect package is installed and the dependency package uh, mk password is also installed so you can check by running mk password so now you can see it has generated a password and by default mk password will generate a character length of 10 and the default value is also a 10 so if you need to change we can mention the value at last so for that the option hyphen l is to be used so if i give hyphen l 25 now it will generate a password with the character length of 25 uh, when the password is generated using the mk password tool it will contain the two default uh, digits and the two values is the default one if you want to increase that uh, you can use the option called hyphen d and here I am mentioning 4 so now you can see the digits will be used will 4 and next uh, cryptographic concept we are going to see is salt uh, for that we need to use the option called hyphen s and it can be used along with the mk password command so mk 
password hyphen s and this hyphen s option is specifically used to generate a password with some special characters so it will add the strength to the encrypted password so if i mention uh, three it will generate a password with three special characters so if i want to generate a 25 characters pa 25 characters length password with uh, 15 um, special characters so for that the command is hyphen l 25 and hyphen s 15 so there you can see the password length is 25 characters and the special characters used here is 15 so in Linux we will use the password followed by the username to set the password for that specified username so if we give password user1 and it will ask us to enter the new password so whereas in mk password followed by the username it will generate the uh, it will generate automatically an encrypted password and set that password to this user one so if you log in with the old password it will not log in so if you give this encrypted password only it will be logged in so this is one of the additional advantage of mk password command so the next cryptography concept we are going to see is open SSL uh, and along with that I am going to show how to use ENC that is encoding with Cypress and another encryption cipher called AES256 CBC so at first we can see how to encrypt a given content and to decrypt that using open SSL so at first I am giving the content called echo mm, hello world and here I am using open SSL and followed by open SSL I have to mention the two zippers uh, one is ENC and another one is AES-256 hyphen CBC and the another option I'm going to mention is hyphen A this hyphen A is used to intimate the open SSL to encrypt the content in base64 in sort format now I'm giving the password to Linux and it will ask for the confirmation and now you can see the given wo uh, hello world content is encrypted so to decrypt this encrypted content we have to use the same option with at last hyphen d and instead of hello world I'm going to paste the encrypted content so if you hit enter it will ask for the password and once the password is given the encrypted content will be decrypted so the next concept we see is the same with pass option that is it will assign the password over here itself so now the hello world is uh, encrypted with the password linux so to decrypt we don't need to mention any password simply the hyphen d option sorry instead of hello world we need to provide the encrypted content so it will take the password linux as we mentioned in the pass option and the encrypted content is decrypted over here using open ssl we can also encrypt the contents in the file so uh, here generating a file called test.txt and inside that i'm giving the content as hello world save and quit the file so now I am encrypting the contents in the file open SSL may have mentioned the cipher ENC and AES-256 CBC and hyphen in option to mention the file as input and hyphen out option to mention the output file and I am giving the test.txt with at last ENC extension so it will ask for the password and you need to mention the password so there you can see the test.txt.enc file is created so now I am going to remove the original file test.txt so if you view the content of test.txt.enc you can see that the content is encrypted with salted in uh, salted cryptography concept so now we can see how to decrypt the contents in this file so to decrypt simply use the same command so instead of giving input as 
uh, only the uh, test dot txt you have to give enc and at last take this dot enc and the additional option we're going to use here is hyphen d so once again it will ask for the password and once the password is given the original file will be generated and the content will be encrypted uh, sorry decrypted thus i have showed how to use the cryptographic concepts to encrypt and decrypt the contents from command line hope this video will be useful for you thanks for watching